The city of Albuquerque now admitting that the number three guy in charge at City Hall violated policy when he failed to report a minor crash to APD. Target 7's John Cardinelli has been on top of the story. Uh, John, how did all of this come to light? Well, Kaylin, Target 7 learned Chief Operations Officer Lawrence Rial violated city code after allegations last week from Sheriff Manny Gonzalez's campaign that he was driving drunk. While we couldn't find evidence of him driving under the influence in searching, we did find the code violation. According to these city documents, Albuquerque's Chief Operations Officer Lawrence Rael was supposed to call police immediately when he got into a minor crash in a city vehicle on the morning of September 14th. He didn't. No police came, no ambulance came, nobody came. That's Victoria Gachus, the woman Rael hit. She tells us he handed her a city business card and left the scene. He didn't talk very much. He just gave me, he handed me his card, that's all. He didn't even hardly say it. He didn't even say a word. On Wednesday last week, Target 7 followed up with the city on the code violation. They sent us a statement that said in part, For minor accidents like this, APD recommends that drivers exchange information and address the situation through their insurance companies. Police Union President Sean Willoughby says that's not the case. That is a statement that is commonly used for citizens. Right. If you have a minor accident violation and your vehicle is operable, you can do a self report. You can call in for a report. You can exchange information and handle it through insurance. 100%. I've heard that being conveyed to the public several times, but this isn't about the public. Willoughby says anytime a city employee gets in an accident, they must report it to APD. The truth is there was there was a city rule and regulation violation. Um, they didn't call the police. They didn't notify anything. There was no evidence. We didn't get photographs. Um, so there are a lot of there are a lot of steps that got missed by the COO in this particular circumstance. And I think that statement from the city is very misleading. Target 7 followed up with the city after our interview with Willoughby. We asked for further clarification. In an email, they told us they were aware of the discrepancy and said in part, Rael was on the way to work the morning the accident occurred, not conducting official business. Not calling APD to the scene was a minor violation of city policy, but is consistent with the recommendation that APD gives to the general community, which is to resolve minor accidents through insurance. The policy has been clarified for Mr. Rael, and he is receiving coaching on the city's incident response procedures. This is about a city employee operating a city vehicle, and there are rules and regulations of minor accidents when you're operating a city vehicle. The next day, the city sent Target 7 another email saying they wanted to clarify their statement for a third time. This time, they took the blame off Rael. They said in part, Rael was on the way to work the morning the accident occurred, not conducting official business. Because of ambiguity between the policy for employees conducting city business and the APD guidance given to all residents to resolve minor accidents through insurance, a corrective clarification was provided. Willoughby is calling for an investigation. At the very least, there needs to be an investigation and potential discipline if he, fought, if he violated policy, at the very least. But um, to, to pretend that a, a city employee in a similar situation would be able to, to get away with just simply giving a business card and, and going about their business without severe discipline is just not a reality that we live in. And we reached out to APD about this. They didn't comment and referred us to the mayor's office. For the full statements issued by the city, you can visit our website. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. John, thank you. The news tells us that she received payment from the city for the crash the day after our original story aired.